He's going to spend two days relaxing with the family like he should with the new boy, uh, Jacob. I think he's like two months old now. So congratulations to Zach and Ellen to be able to kind of relax and enjoy the holiday. But it's not a holiday for us. We've got the McFarland cross country team in as we have the section state championships coming on Saturday up at Woodwork Park. The McFarland girls won the D2 title Saturday for the Central Section Championship. Congratulations to you. We have Alyssa Diaz, Didi Salcedo, and Sonia Holigan. And then we have head coach Amador Ione over in the corner in my normal seat. Amador, hello. How are you? Congratulations. You guys went running today. How was the weather up in McFarland? Uh, beautiful. It was raining and, and uh, a little breezy and, and uh, ideal running weather. That's when, we, that's when you have some fun. And, and uh, well, actually, we didn't have a lot of fun today because we didn't wet each other and hit the puddles because we were trying to keep ourselves from getting sick. But that's the most beautiful time to run. Not hot. And then you have the water, the drizzle, and the, and the thing uh, hitting you. And we just had a conversational little 35-minute run today together. Sonia, is the one senior on the team, really, for you, this kind of like last hurrah for you as a McFarland cross country runner in high school. Have you kind of been taken aback and thought about what all of this means for you and what it means to be, you know, one of these last few times where you could run with the red and white? I, I have thought about that. And it, every time I do think about it, I do get very sad. You know, I'm going to miss Ione. I'm going to miss the girls, but I know in the future they're going to do good, you know, with or without me because I know we have a good, strong team of freshmen and incoming freshmen for next year. So I know my team's going to do good, and um, I'll always be a McFarland runner no matter if I continue to run or not. Dee, Dee you were you are that incoming freshman this year. You won the section title in a time of 18-14, right? Yes. So one second behind Cagney Duncan. Not sure if you knew that or not. Yeah. So that's a good little race that we have going between you guys. But for, for you, Didi, this first season, now that you're heading into Saturday in the state championship, I know we talked on Saturday about, you know, you want to win Valley four years in a row, and you've already started that off with what you did last Saturday. Um, how much fun is it to get to this point and look at that D2 field on Saturday and what you can go up against, not only as an individual, what you girls get to go up against as a team? It's really scary. I know there's going to be a lot of girls out there. Our girls are hopefully going to get that win or a top three, most likely. <laughs> I'm really hoping that we do great. We get recognized a lot, and just we leave an impact on others. Alyssa, you were a first-team runner for us last year, all area. For you this year, is there anything different? Kind of, What's been the most exciting thing for you going into the season? Because you guys did win going away Saturday for the D2 title. Um, is there something special about this team that you guys have a lot of high hopes for Saturday? Um, yeah, I think this team is really, they're more prepared and they're more like, um, they just show up and they deliver. So it doesn't matter what the circumstances are. I know that this team versus the past teams that we've had before, they will do it no matter what it is, rain or shine, or whether the odds are stacked against us or not. These girls have a, a basically a, a hard head to get through, <laughs> and there's nothing that can knock them down. Amador, are they hard headed? Are they hard headed? Uh, well, uh, the, maybe in, in one capacity, yes, because they're very strong mentally. And we had our team dinner yesterday, our Thanksgiving dinner, and we usually we had them together. We usually we have them with the boys, and yesterday we just we couldn't fit them in the way we wanted to. And we talked about. Uh, they asked me. Sony asked me at practice yesterday. Uh, we had. Um, 23 News, Stephen Hicks come by and do a little interview on Didi. She was athlete of the week for 23 News. So uh, they asked, and after that, she asked Mr. Ann, what, what, what are you, are we our fastest team? Are you your favorite team, what have you? And I told him, no, you, uh, you are the team that I can go back in 10 and 15 years if I'm still coaching and say that that was a real team. Because uh, the, we, the, stress, the stress that usually comes with the season, we, we started late May, people don't know. Late May, and we give ourselves Lake Tahoe, and then we give ourselves very little downtime, and then we're basically together all year because then we start track. And then I, I told him yesterday, I told him after the practice, I said, um, this is a team I can talk about later to the, pre the ones coming in because you uh, have the last four weeks, I wouldn't trade for nothing with the group that I have because I, I have that state championship type of uh, feeling that we had with those other eight or nine when I was coaching the boys, or right. helping Mr. White and also coaching. And I said, I only can only, the, the boys that I had that I can compare to you, or you can compare to them with my team that plays second. Um, and, and those guys gave me everything they had. They didn't have 
they didn't have much of ability, but they gave everything they had. And these girls, obviously, we have that combination of ability and, and brains and, and all the other kids as well. We always preach that, but they have that unity and they like each other. And my, my models, when they come in, when they start a little bit of drama, I say, you know what? You don't need to love each other, but you will learn how to like each other. And eventually, you will learn how to love each other. And I think this team is to that point where they, they uh, I think they really care for each other, for their well-being, and they're not worried about who is number one, who is number two. And I told Sonia that last week, I talked to her last Friday. Uh, she's my senior, so I talked to her. She's thinking about college and what have you, which is the norm. And I said, you know what, I've told you this, Sonia, since you were a freshman. I don't care who's one, two, three, four, five. So long as we have five girls before anybody else is, uh, I'm not being cocky, I said before their second or third girls, or even their first girl, I know we're doing really well. So uh, I told him yesterday, uh, Coach Diaz told him we had a dinner. We said, you know what, uh, we may not be the fastest yet. We're about 45 seconds away from the 2013 team as far as team time. But I said, uh, it doesn't matter about time. Running it is, yeah, we want to run great times, and we want to do all that. But it's what are we going to do after we run those great times? What are we going to do once we leave McFarland? What are we going to do in the classroom? Are we going to be good ambassadors for the rest of the kids coming up that they're going to want to copy and emulate? So this team, Mr. Diaz and myself, can honestly say, you know what? They have those things. All these six, seven girls, they're all going to go to college. They're, our cumulative GPA is probably 3.75 and above, or maybe higher. So we're going to make a run. Our, our, my goal is when they be an all-valley all all first team, all scholar team. And so a couple of years ago, we lost to Simon King Memorial by two hundredths or two tenths of a point. So that's, that's in a nutshell, this is what you want to have it and, and, and build with youngsters. And uh, we're, we're in it for a long haul. And I made the thing to I told him yesterday this is a team, if I didn't tell him, in a couple of years, we're going to win Division One. When they put us there, they put us there. Now, that's where we're destined to go. We're going to take that challenge. And one of these groups, when we have some freshmen, I told them yesterday, you're going to win Division One. So, Sonia, for you, you listen to that. Is there, is there a sense of, um, are, you, are you nervous about that, kind of getting that, 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 you know, that, those words from Amador, or is it one of those things where it's so much fun because you guys are so, much, so good friends that there is no stress, there is no pressure, that you guys are just out there running, especially, you know, running for such a storied program like McFarland is. For you, is, is there pressure, or is it just fun for you because this is just what you do in McFarland? I feel like a little bit there is pressure because, um, yeah, we're in a pretty high division, and our school is only like a division four um, school and so the fact that we compete in such you know high division one and two you know everyone does already like tell us like oh you guys are gonna win Valley you guys are gonna win this you guys win that you guys always win like no one cares you know but to me like I find it really important and I have talked to Iona about it but Iona you know tells me too like don't worry about that you know like people do care so I mean I I want to say it wasn't as pressuring but I feel like we all just enjoy it. Like, sometimes we don't even think about it. Like, we just do it. And, like, what our coach told us yesterday, Diaz, you know, I tell you girls what we're going to do, and you guys don't complain. All right, coach, we'll do it. And we do it, you know? So I feel like there is no pressure, but sometimes there there is. Like, last Thursday, I, I was nervous. You know, like, the first thing I said once I crossed the finish line, did we win, coach? Did we win? Did we win? And, you know, they are like, you know what? Yeah, you guys won. And we ended up winning by such – a great amount of points. I did say last Saturday for the section title. It was last Thursday. I'm sorry yeah. about that, guys. Alyssa, you have family members that have ran for McFarland in the past, correct? Yes. Is there a sense of pride, a family connection for you, and just, you know, what that means to, you know, just be another one in the lineage of running for McFarland? Right. Um, I think there is. I think it's just basically carrying down the tradition of because my family has been running for so long, and it's basically like a lifestyle. It's not really a sport. I don't think it's a sport to any of my family members, actually. I think it's like, oh, not that you have to run, but it's just, you know, your dad ran, and they won a state championship, and then with McFarland coming out, you're not expected to run, but it just comes with a lot of pride and a lot of, I guess you can say, bragging rights. But, yeah, it's very this happy. Is so. It's always been an incredible thing to me, especially when I moved here last July from Sacramento, to be able to kind of embrace this program that has been here for so long. Um, Amador, you have a special one here in Didi Salcedo, who's only a freshman, won the D2 title. She was a very kind of decorated youth runner. 
Um, here she goes. I think she's the number eight ranked uh, runner in this D2 race on Saturday, according to Dice Stat. Kind of give our viewers a sense of you know who she is as a runner, as a person, and kind of set the stage for her as a high school runner now that she's in her first state title game run as a freshman. Well, let, let, let me let me let me not not correct you, but say she's a special runner. But I think all the girls that run for us are special girls. Sure. And as far as, as, far as her, her special talents, she, that's, and they all have different talents. She does have those special talents, but she works extremely hard, just like the rest of the girls do. Uh, we, we've have a game plan from the beginning. Uh, you gotta understand that Didi ran for my best friend Thomas Vias for four years, mm -hmm. and uh, you know we had an idea. I never really talked to her, right, Didi? In those years, I just let him coach her, and we're cut off the same, uh, in the same kind of tree line there with Mr. White. Mr. White is the one that coached both of us, and so you know when she came to us at that first week in, in August when it was official for us for her to be a you know con conditioning and what have you. Uh, we, we set a game plan. I talked to Dad back two years ago, and I said, well, this is what we want to do. And he said, okay, go ahead and do this. And our, our goal was we were going to start getting her assimilated to three miles or 5K because she went, came from running 3,000, mm -hmm. you know, in uh, junior high and in uh, USTF. So three miles is a big jump. And now here you're running, you're not only running against your age, but you're running with people that could be three or four years older, being juniors and seniors. So we got a little bit of a reality check when we went to Woolbridge, right, Didi? Wilbridge, yeah. and, and we found out the kind of mistakes we made. And you know what, I, I kind of feel bad because I wasn't even there. Her, her dad and, and uh, another one of the coaches, they took her. And uh, we had gone the night before, and, and uh, I'm not one that likes to split our teams because I, I always preach team. And that day we ran it, we ran in the, on Friday, and then she went up late on Saturday. And, and uh, she ended up 19th place in a highly competitive Wilbridge uh, sweepstake girls race. But she's not used to that. And so, you know, we talked about it, how you felt, and you know, she said, Mr. Ayon, I was with them, and then they were fast. And I said, okay, well, we're going to get faster. And as far as her accolades and all that, when she, when she comes and when she leaves junior high and she comes to McFarland High, she starts from scratch again. And, and those are all great and all that, and I'm pretty sure she envisions herself as, you know, we're, we're going to go to, we'll take one race at a time, our team and with her, and we got this race coming up. If, if the cards stack up really and she's eight, Didi's going to race, and I've seen a race in the last three and a half, four national championships because my son runs as well, whether it was Orlando, Florida, or San Antonio, or Albuquerque. She's going to race the front group. And whatever they go, she's, that's what she's going to do. That's her MO. But we already we talked about how we would feel good if she was in the top five. And if she gets a relatively fast time, because Division Two is loaded, yes. individual girls, and if she gets a chance to go to Nike Nationals, and she gets invited, we're, in, we're, in, we're very grateful. But we already signed her up for Foot Locker. She's running the seated race on the 5th. And uh, if she gets there in the top 10, either, either way, she, December 12th, she's going to be running somewhere, we, we hope, whether it's in Balboa Park in San Diego or in Portland, Oregon, Nike Nationals. And uh, we've gone away from the USTF, and her dad, we talked to her. And that's what she wants to do because those are high school geared races. And if it happens, we're happy. And if it doesn't, we'll go back to the drawing board again. And, and, and we're not going to let those things bog us down, and we're going to figure out what we didn't do right, and uh, she's going to mature and, and, and grow. We haven't really got her in the weight program yet, as far as her, she's just, we haven't, and because she's a little young, and we got to wait maybe, and we usually do that in track, when we start implementing different things with them, and uh, when she gets into that, uh, we tried the little push-ups and stuff, but she kind of hurt her wrist <laughs> doing the push-ups and stuff, <laughs> so we kind of, and, and she's had some other little nagging little things, so we just, right. with youngsters, we, we want to be careful, plus, we want to see her run past McFarland High. Right. Division one, hopefully. We gotta take a break. Do you guys mind coming back for one more segment? I got some more stuff I want to talk to you guys about. Sure. Sound good? Yeah. All right, we'll be right back with McFarland, and then in the third segment, we're gonna talk about high school football. So we'll be right back.